Hey guys, welcome back to View Essentials. Today, big breaking news, literally just breaking, about the Quest 3, the Meta Quest 3, that is, in terms of its battery life. So let's go right into the actual article, which is by Upload VR, by the way. So big shout out to them. Quest 3 battery life about the same as the Quest 2, according to Meta's CEO. So here, by the way, for those who are not familiar, the Quest 2 is here and the new Quest 3 that was revealed not too long ago is on the right hand side. All right, so Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth said in an Instagram AMA today that the battery life on the Quest 3, let me just zoom in a little bit, will be about the same as the Quest 2. So basically, at the moment, the battery life, I believe, is around two hours. Leave a comment below, guys, if you have a Quest 2. Love to know how long does it last for you. And also, does the battery last as long as it did when you first purchased your Quest 2? Or do you find that the battery life has substantially, you know, no longer the same? So maybe it was two hours before, but now it's about one hour and a half. Let us know in the comments below how the battery life, if it's been depleted or not. We'd love to know all these details, guys. All right, so... Um, here's the full statement question. What will the battery life be for Meta Quest 3? Bosworth's answer is about the same as Quest 2 plus or minus. And I think that they will always be able to continue, excuse me, to work on and improve the battery. And of course, it varies based on what you're using it for. So of course, if you're using a very simple app, like maybe watching a movie or just doing something very easy, then obviously the battery life will last longer than if you use it, for example, Walking Dead, or you know, just some kind of app that requires a lot of power. For example, um, you know, Half-Life Alex on PC VR, of course, if you're gonna be streaming it to PC VR, this also, of course, will eat more of the juice of the battery. But as I said, left to know how long, you know, roughly it lasts and whether you've seen any substantial uh, battery changes as you've been using your Quest for the last, let's say, year or even two years, let's say. All right, let's go back to the actual uh, article. It's worth noting that even if the battery life on Quest 3 matches that of the Quest 2, it will so it will do so while powering a device with higher specifications and a screen with features that features, excuse me, seemingly 30% jump in resolution. In the AMA session, Bosworth also confirmed that despite the imminent release of Quest 3, Quest Pro will continue to receive new software updates and improvement over time. This isn't a huge surprise. Meta just recently issued an update that increased clock speeds for the CPU and GPU on both Quest 2 and Quest Pro. So of course, guys, we know that uh, for the Quest, Two, there's been a relatively huge jump in CPU and GPU usage in terms of the clock rates inside of the headset. Now, maybe they either didn't have the technology or they decided to do this later on, as of course, now the Quest 2 will be released as a test to see whether the Quest 2 could substantially withhold the new upgrades to the latest update. So we don't know. Let us know in the comments below if you know, you know, so why now they decide to up the clock rate and not before. I'd love that if you're an insider inside of Meta. Can you spill the beans? We'd love that as well. All right, so however, Bosworth later suggested that the inclusion of depth sensor in Quest 3 could result in improvements to the computer vision depth model used on depth sensor less Quest Pro. So again, we know that there's gonna be a depth sensor inside of the Quest 3, which is great. So in terms of the battery life, it's great to see that basically the way it's gonna be running is still two or three hours or so, despite the modifications of the Quest 3, which of course is more powerful. So if it was a, the same as the Quest 2, but a new battery, then obviously it would run for more. It would it, Maybe it will run for four hours, who knows? I'm not an expert. I'm just saying that the new technology of the battery that they're putting in the Quest 3 could be better than the Quest 2. Therefore, if it was on the Quest 2, then the Quest 2 would run for longer. So it makes sense that, you know, at least it's still able to get it for about two hours, despite the actual upgrades to the Quest 3. All right, let's go back to the article very quickly. Bosworth, one thing that happens when you have a depth sensor is that you have additional source of truth. And so sure, the experience that you have in a headset that has both visual computer vision and a depth sensor is potentially the strongest, but you're able to use that depth sensor to train the computer vision that even on a headset that don't have a depth sensor, they also improve on the different conditions. So it 
really should improve the entire pipeline. So there you go, guys. This is basically the news. Let me just double check. No, there is really nothing else. So thanks, Upload VR, for the article. By the way, really great stuff here. Learning more about the battery life and also, of course, the dev sensor that's coming to the Quest 3. But it's great for Quest Pro owners that, of course, they still be doing the upgrades for however time we don't know because Meta, unfortunately, are known for canning things and stopping things without even telling anybody. So, you know, just saying, you know, sorry for those who have a MetaQuest Pro. Also, the fact that your price was slashed by how much? 500 or 600 US dollars. So, you know, it most probably wouldn't have been very, uh, very sensitive issue, I think. So, but do leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts about all of this. All right, guys, until next time, smash the likes, hit the notification bell for more to be notified about all the breaking news stories that will be coming off on the channel and the likes also, of course, so that we can grow the VR Essentials community. All right, until next time. Take it easy, guys. See you later. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.